Hi, welcome back to Indigo Smokes Tarot. I have my earphone in, so hopefully you guys can hear me better. Um, I am doing an October reading for Sagittarius for October 2019. Um, I'm going to start off with some oracle cards, and then I'll get into the tarot, the clarifies, and then I'll finish with oracle messages from about two to three different decks. All right, I hope life has been treating you all well. Um, Divine Heart of Power, Seven Angels, and Archangels of the Collective, can we please get the overall energies surrounding the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North and South Nodes for October 2019. What are the overall surrounding energies for the Sagittarius collective for October 2019? What are the overall energies surrounding the Sagittarius collective for October 2019? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North, and South Nodes. What are the overall energies surrounding the Sagittarius Collective? Okay. Here are two more cards for the overall energies surrounding the Collective of Sagittarius. When it flipped over. What are the overall energies surrounding the collective of Sagittarius? Can I get one more card? we have at the bottom of the deck um broken heart so possibly you know you guys have been dealing with some heart chakra issues things that have been um emotionally putting you through the ringer right the first card that flipped over was the reversed envy card all right in the upright this is actually um a two so possibly you've been dealing with some envy in your energy possibly in regards to a relationship or a partnership friendship of some sort um, possibly on a professional level or in regards to your finances maybe there's been some dishonesty some jealousy in regards to a relationship finances work maybe a project that you're working on here um, second card that came out is the victory card so this is a really good energy it does help to balance out these reversals over here so it looks like whatever envious energy is passing you're coming into something better um, more high vibratory uh, with the victory card this is pretty much self-explanatory i think um, leo also got this card as well and this is a 10 signifying that there's some kind of um, victorious completion to maybe a situation or a cycle that you've been in and it looks like you'll be going towards a new beginning because tens deal with completions and simultaneously go into new beginnings as well okay um and the the victory it could be it could be a variety of different things you know it could just be a personal victory it could be a victory in regards to whatever this reading will be about for you um the victory could be that you're just closing out a cycle right and maybe the victory will be a karmic or a spiritual reward for having dealt with everything that you've dealt with so far um the reversed adjacent possibilities 24 this is a six so possibly there is a situation where maybe you or someone else in your energy is not feeling like there is any more um alternatives or options or potential for any kind of growth all right there could be um a situation where you just feel like there's nowhere for it to go anymore all right it's like the the possibilities have been shut down all right whereas maybe there were a variety of possibilities before it's like maybe those um maybe those options alternatives they are no longer inviting or even a possibility at this time all right but this is a six that talks about balance and harmony it can talk about like domestic relationships things in concern to the past so it could definitely be that something here is you know victoriously closing out because there there's nowhere else for it to go all right and on the last card this is another six all right so you could have definitely been dealing with a relationship or a work situation maybe in regards to your finances where someone here maybe wasn't honest or forthright or maybe just someone or something wasn't stable in the situation and it could have definitely thrown it out of balance and um, limited the potential of the situation for it to grow you know beyond whatever it is or wherever it was for you all right 
So I'm gonna move these out of the way. I'm going to get into the tarot now. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, what are the overall insights and guidance for the collectors of Sagittarius for October 2019? Messages for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North and South Nodes for October 2019. What does Sagittarius need to know for October? Can I kind of get seven cards of guidance and insight for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? So it's possibly somebody here rejecting an offer or feeling like um, someone here could feel like they missed out on an opportunity with the adjacent possibilities in the reverse. Somebody here could definitely feel like they missed out on something or maybe someone who's just grown discontent or bored with the particular situation. Can I get six more cards for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? So we got the Seven of Swords and the Sun card. So definitely, um, like I said, somebody could have been very much not forthright, not honest. There could they, it could have like brought instability to a situation. It could have definitely been someone deceptive or um, jealous in the situation, and it could have definitely come into the light here. Can I get four more cards for the collective of Sagittarius for October twenty nineteen? Two more cards for the collective of Sagittarius for October Can I get one more card for Sagittarius for October 2019? One more card for Sagittarius for October 2019. Bottom of the deck, we have the reverse Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so possibly, you know, somebody here, this kind of um, goes back to the reverse um, woman holding the coin. This is someone who is normally um, very grounded and solid, warm and nurturing. But for whatever reason, um, someone here could have like felt neglected in a situation, possibly in a rel relationship because the Queen of Pentacles, she is someone who is a wife, a mother, a businesswoman. Right? She's someone who is normally very grounded and solid, but for whatever reason, maybe this energy is no longer wanting to nurture a situation. Maybe someone in the situation is feeling neglected or has, or they felt neglected in the past. And possibly, um, sometimes the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse can talk about someone who is very much uh, materialistic or jealous or greedy 
um, ungrounded as, as a person or possibly ungrounded in their finances, you know, falling on financially hard times. But this can definitely be someone who like takes on a, a materialistic gold digger kind of energy, okay? If it's not someone just feeling neglected and losing their desire to be warm and nurturing and loving towards a particular person or situation, okay? So that's the bottom of the deck energy. So it gave me two extra cards instead of just one. So, all right, first card out, the Four of Cups. Like I said, this talks about someone uh, growing bored or discontent with the situation. Possibly someone here rejected an offer. Someone here can feel like they just missed out on something, um, something that could have had a lot of potential, something that could have grown. All right. Um, let me see. Second card out is the Seven of Swords. All right, so this card talks about deception. It talks about envy. It talks about people being very much sneaky and doing things behind someone else's back, someone with bad intentions, someone intentionally and strategically being manipulative, um, deceptive, and trying to get away with things, all right, and being very much self-serving in their actions. All right, third card out is the Sun card, all right? So this talks about illumination, things coming to the light. All right, these two came out together, so it's like you most likely already know about whatever this deception is. Like I said, with this reverse envy card, definitely it's like you already know about it. Um, you've been illuminated, you've gained some clarity on it, and somebody here could just be trying to focus on going towards their happiness. Um, with the fourth card being the eight of cups, it looks like someone here either has or will be walking away from the situation, whether physically and or emotionally. Um, this is just talk. It talks about walking away from a situation that is no longer fulfilling and going towards wish fulfillment and happiness elsewhere. All right. Most likely after coming into some kind of knowledge about some envy or deceptive activity going on in regards to you, your life, your energy. All right, the fifth card out is the reverse temperance card. So this is you, Sagittarius. Um, this is in the reverse. This is typically talking about someone, um, when it's in the upright, it talks about someone wanting to bring balance or harmony or healing to a particular situation. Someone um, basically trying to be patient, trying to be patient in bringing that healing and that balance to a particular person or to a particular situation. It can talk about someone wanting to reconcile. But when it's in the reverse, this talks about a... Um, a lack of healing and a lack of harmony it talks about a lack of reconciliation as well um and no longer having patience for a particular situation and since this is your energy sagittarius this looks like you are very much um dissatisfied and not interested in a particular situation or person anymore um possibly there could be like um back to the bottom of the deck over here the the broken heart it could be that maybe you're having a hard time getting over the pain that whatever this situation may have caused for you all right all right and the sixth card out is the knight of cups okay so this talks about um typically an emotional or love related offer all right the knights they come in they go out they they bring some kind of offer or news with them so this could definitely be um, an offer in regards to love a relationship this could be an apology this could be an offer of reconciliation this could be someone wanting to offer their cup of love to you this could be as simple as someone expressing how they feel this could be as simple as someone wanting to go out um, to take you out on a date wanting to talk wanting some kind of emotional um, exchange and offering this to you or this is you towards someone else and right after that we have the king of cups here so Definitely, you could be dealing with the water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there's a lot of water here. Um, the King of Cups, this is ruled by Scorpio energy. So I typically see this card as someone who they have a lot of emotion, but they may or may not express it. They may or may not be comfortable with expressing that that emotion, right? Because this is someone who is typically, sometimes the King of Cups, he can be emotionally mature. That's how it's supposed to be. But I find that a lot of the times the King of Cups, he may not be very... Um, uh, readily expressive of certain emotions or feelings that he has within because Scorpio is very much a um, it can be a very guarded sign a very guarded kind of energy right so it looks like somebody here has a lot of emotion um, possibly being very apologetic for something that has happened um, it looks like with the Knight of Cups they're ready to express it and this is um it's like a situation where the feelings have had time to develop in whoever this person is okay so definitely you could be dealing with a water sign Pisces, cancer scorpio 
the last card out is the reversed high priestess okay so definitely this talks about secrets coming out gaining clarity and illumination on whatever has been going on in the dark all right um when the high priestess is in, is in the reverse it does talk about secrets coming out but to me this also talks about possibly someone having um a blocked intuition maybe someone here didn't listen to their intuition in regards to a person or a situation but regardless the secret is out now so that's really good let's see so far we have what three face cards right um as far as angel numbers you have six six you have two tens um, and I think that's it as for right now. All right, so I'm going to get into the clarifiers now. Right, can you please clarify the following cards for the collective of Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Street, North, and South Nodes. <clears throat> Please clarify this four of cups for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019. Alright, so the reverse five of cups here. This talks about um, getting over the loss, the pain, um, whatever remorse or sorrow that the situation has caused. This talks about someone um, getting over that energy. Uh, with the clarifying the four of cups, it could definitely be that... Um, Maybe someone here feels like they missed out on an opportunity and they're wanting to heal a particular situation or missing out on the opportunity to heal it. All right. So either someone here is just feeling like they missed out on something and they want to heal it or somebody feels like they already missed this opportunity to heal something. OK, but definitely whoever was feeling the, the sense of pain and loss in the situation, it looks like they're getting over it. Can you please clarify this four of cups and this reverse five of cups for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? And then also, it, it can definitely just signify that somebody here, they've grown discontent and bored with the situation because there was so much envy and deception going on and they're deciding to just accept things, heal, and move forward, okay? Can you please clarify this four of cups and this reverse five of cups for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? Alright, the reversed Knight of Swords. So you could definitely be dealing with an air sign, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is, um, when it's in the reverse, the Knight of Swords, it talks about someone very reckless and impulsive possibly somebody who is very tactless someone who does not know how to um, be diplomatic someone who could be very or overly forceful or assertive in um, the way that they communicate or in the way that they handle situations all right so this can be someone who rushes in very much um, on an impulse and in kind of a reckless way Possibly being, like I said, being very forceful or rude in the way that they do things or in the way that they communicate, all right? It's possible that somebody here, um, it's possible that, like, that there was like some arguments here and somebody had some very harsh words and this can definitely be an, an energy where someone is kind of uh, disrespectful, you know, or just insensitive in the way that they do things or in the way that they communicate, all right? Um, and also this can be someone lashing out due to said, you know, fuckery that's been going on and whatever the situation is for you can we please clarify the seven of swords for the Sagittarius collective for October 2019 can we please clarify the seven of swords all right the high priestess again so once again, it's like definitely there was some secrets, but those secrets are, they've been exposed, right? And like I said, with this coming out twice, definitely somebody here could have intuitively felt something or um, 
someone's intuition could have definitely been activated in this situation, all right? Whether someone felt the um, felt that something was going on behind their back or whether after the you know deception came to light someone intuitively just knew how to navigate their way out of the situation but definitely somebody here had some secrets um, secret intentions um, motives actions things of that nature can you please clarify this high priestess for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019 and you could also be dealing with um, a Pisces with the high priestess card Okay, so we have the, clarifying the High Priestess, we have the Reverse Justice card, we have the Four of Wands, and we have the Reverse Queen of Wands. So you could also be dealing with a, um, this could be your energy fire sign, Sagittarius, or you could be dealing with another um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius fire sign. So with the Reverse Justice card, this signifies that something here was not balanced or fair in a particular situation, most likely in regards to a relationship or a domestic situation, all right? The Four of Wands, it talks about... Um, when it's in the upright, it can typ typically talk about um, happy relationships, happy home situations, domestic situations. Um, sometimes this can be like a twin flame kind of energy in the original depiction of the Four of Wands. There's like um, there's like two pillars and it kind of looks like 11-11. So there's like a twin flame symbol. So it definitely could have been um, a spiritually significant relationship where this injustice happened. All right. And possibly whatever this inj injustice is, it caused someone here to be very much pissed off and fed up with the situation. Or, or, um, <laughs> uh, for me, a lot of the times the reverse queen of wands, it can be someone who is, uh, the mistress, you know, the other person, the third party in a situation. Um, this is someone who can be very, you know, jealous or insecure or manipulative. They like, they bring a lot of conflict with them. And like I said, it looks like somebody here was, um, not faithful in a particular, uh, domestic or relationship dynamic okay and for me this is strongly the the other woman card all right so unfortunately some kind of injustice did happen in the situation and it threw off the balance okay and intuitively like i said maybe someone here felt it you know can we please clarify the sun card for the collective of sagittarius Can you please clarify the sun card for Sagittarius for October 2019? Really? And so we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Page of Cups. We have the King of Swords and we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so somebody here is um, definitely seeking some kind of a wish fulfillment in a situation. Alright, with the reverse Four of Cups, this talks about um, basically coming out of that discontent and that boredom, um, accepting things for what they are and moving forward strongly. That's what this is for me. It's like no longer, um, no longer like being in like self pity mode or no longer being complacent in a particular situation, no longer being, um, down or, or sad or depressed about it. Okay. No longer, um, just sitting in, um, the feeling of having missed out on something. All right. And no longer staying in a particular situation where you're not happy. Um, with the Page of Cups here, the Knave of Chalices, this talks about some kind of emotional offer. Typically, it's pretty sincere, but it's usually like a small token or a small gesture. The um, It talks about, it can't talk about apologies, okay? So somebody here could definitely be apologetic for whatever has happened in this particular situation. Um, and with the Nine of Cups here, like I said, somebody is definitely seeking some kind of wish fulfillment. With this King of Swords, like I said, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So let's say that this apology would be coming from this particular energy. It's like, um, one, it could be that this person right here is emotionally detached, even though they are um, apologetic on the inside. Maybe they're not, it, it, maybe that's not obvious like on the surface, all right? But definitely, it's like somebody here is, is trying to make amends for something, all right? And the King of Swords, he can also be an energy that, that cuts things out. So if there is someone here trying to offer some kind of um, offer, apology, some kind of emotional gesture, it could definitely be that somebody here is is um, not really receptive to it, all right? And if this is the energy that this King is taking on, it could just be that on the surface, he seems very detached, but inside he's actually um, apologetic and he's wanting some kind of wish fulfillment in this situation, okay? Um, 
and that could definitely be what is coming to the light about it it's like somebody here is wanting to attain some kind of happiness here all right and if this is another person in your energy they're wanting to achieve some kind of happiness with you and you know take it however it resonates it could be that you're taking on this energy towards another aspect of your life but I strongly see that this is someone trying to make amends for something that happened um, trying to get something or attain a happy um, completion or ending to this particular situation Can we please clarify this Eight of Cups for the Collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? Okay. Alright, these flipped right over. Alright, so we have the Reversed World card with the Reversed Three of Swords. Okay, so definitely whoever was dealing with the um, broken heart, the disappointment, the heartache, it looks like somebody is definitely coming out of that energy here. But with this Reversed World card, it does talk about... Um, unfinished business a lack of completion or closure to or closure to a particular cycle all right so clarifying this eight of cups is like somebody here walked away possibly healing themselves from a particular situation it could definitely be um it could be third party it could be <laughs> um so it's like somebody here emotionally and or physically withdrew from a particular situation um it's starting to starting the healing process all right but definitely there's something about this cycle or something about the situation that is not finished or maybe this is just the energy that one or two people in this situation are taking on feeling like there's some unfinished business that needs to be dealt with okay like i said with this nine of cups and this sun card over here somebody here is trying to it's like they're trying to um resurrect the situation trying to get some kind of attainment or fulfillment or happiness out of the situation after everything that has transpired right, can we please clarify this reverse temperance card for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019 The reverse ten of pentacles, right? So this talks about um, it can talk about um, financial loss and instability, but this is very much a family card or a, rela or a long term relationship card when it's in the upright, right? And when it goes into the reverse, it basically talks about a great sense of loss, a broken family, a broken relationship, a broken connection, um, where there's no longer longevity or harmony or balance or abundance in a particular um, family dynamic or relationship dynamic. Okay, so this can definitely talk about um, a broken. A broken relationship where the healing isn't particularly happen happening and something about the situation is severely off balance all right so if it was once a happy situation it is no longer that and it doesn't look like it is being reconciled very well okay um Sagittarius it definitely looks like you are you know just fed up all right it doesn't look like you have patience for it anymore all right the other card flipped out the reverse lovers all right this is another six. So six 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 is definitely an angel number for you. Don't believe the taboo. It's not an evil number or anything like that. It just talks about needing to focus and find harmony and balance within yourself, within your life, and within a particular situation. So definitely, this was like a broken, a broken relationship, a broken connection. Maybe something here was lacking in balance and harmony. Maybe there was some conflict, and it led to a separation of a relationship. And possibly somebody here, you know, with this Four of Cups energy, somebody could have definitely felt like they missed out on something and like someone here possibly made a bad decision um, that negatively affected this situation or relationship. All right. So I'm debating. I guess I'll keep it out. Okay. So can we please clarify this Knight of Cups for the Collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? All right, so once again, you could definitely be dealing with the water sign. There's heavy Scorpio energy here. Clarifying the Knight of Cups, we got the Death card, all right? So definitely something in this particular situation has ended, all right? Um, but this particular love offer, it could be coming in, you know, trying to transform the situation. But definitely something here has ended, and it's like someone here is trying to make some kind of apology or emotional gesture or offer in regards to whatever this relationship is for you. I'm going to clarify it further. Can you please clarify this Knight of Cups and this Death card for the Collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? All right, Judgment. So definitely, like I said, somebody here is trying to... Um, 
Okay, this is more scorpionic, plutonic type of energy. So, like I said, something here has ended. And it's like someone here is trying to come in and resurrect the situation, wanting a second chance. Wanting to um, bring the situation back from the dead or transform it into something new. But definitely it looks like somebody here wants a second chance and they're trying to make amends for something that has happened. Alright. And definitely whoever's on the receiving end of this uh, second chance or the, whoever is being offered um, the possibility for this rebirth, um, you're going to have like a final judgment to make because the judgment card, it talks about having a final decision, deciding whether you want to continue with something old or whether you want to, you know, basically be reborn or rebirthed and go into a new path or a new direction. So definitely we'll see and then karmically this is a card where people are having to face the decisions and the karma that they've created for themselves so yeah can we please clarify this king of cups for the collective of sagittarius for october 2019 all right so we got some repeats <laughs> all right so take this how it resonates um it looks like maybe the the water sign is the the person that could have walked away from the particular situation or like i said you could have been the one that walked away from this energy but um since it is clarifying the king of cups i can say that it is a huge possibility that this energy the person that walked away or the person that caused the heartache it's like how do i explain this whoever walked away um it's like they're very guarded all right, it's like this nine of wands energy. It talks about someone taking a last stand, someone trying to put their all into a particular situation, you know, really going toe to toe, you know, being on the battlefield, taking some kind of last stand, you know, having a lot of stamina, but also being very guarded in regards to everything that has happened. Okay, and maybe this energy, being the wounded warrior, caused someone to walk away from this King of Cups, or this King of Cups energy is the one that walked away and it left someone very, um, very wounded. All right. Can you please clarify this Eight of Cups and Nine of Wands for Sagittarius for October 2019? Yeah, so the Two of Wands and the reverse with the Three of Wands. So definitely um, somebody here, it's like someone here walked away and they're they're waiting for their, their opportunities, their new beginnings, for, they're waiting for their ships to come in elsewhere. All right, and if this is just this water sign energy, this King of Cups, Nine of Cups energy coming back, this person is basically waiting for the opportunity to um, start over new. All right, and with the reverse Two of Wands, to me, that talks about, um, once again, like, kind of like bad decisions. It's like somebody here, they didn't make a good judgment call in regards to this situation. And, um, you know, maybe they were planning to do something. Like I said, with the manipulation card, things are intentionally done when you get the Seven of Swords. It's very strategic. And it's like maybe something fell through, all right? Maybe somebody didn't plan things as good as they thought. But definitely somebody here is waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for um, something new, something better, all right? So whether this is you or whether this is a person waiting for their ships to come in with you, take it however that resonates. Um, yeah, whatever the situation is, it left someone here very uh, much wounded and guarded as a result. Can you please clarify this reverse high priestess for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? Yeah. Can you please clarify this reverse high priestess for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? Okay. Alright, so the first card that came out in clarification of this reverse high priestess is the um, Page of Pentacles. Alright, so this is someone who, this is a message. This is also an offer. You know, this is something tangible that someone here is trying to offer or work on. Um, with this reverse chariot, though, like I said, you could be dealing with a water sign, heavy water sign energy here. Um, this is cancer. In the reverse, though, this talks about either someone not moving forward or not wanting to move forward. Or this is someone who is just out of control, <laughs> okay? But this looks like maybe some secrets came out and someone here is wanting to work on a situation. But um, another person in this dynamic is not wanting to move forward with this. Okay, because the chariot it talks about um, basically using all of your control, all of your willpower towards attaining victory in a particular situation. And when it's in the reverse, it's like something isn't moving forward or someone does not want to move forward, period. Okay. 
and um, if this is an energy that is coming towards you this is an energy that is very much aggressive and it's out of control um, yeah but I see this as someone not wanting to move forward in a particular situation but you take that however it resonates it won't be the exact same for everybody all right can we please clarify this reverse chariot for the collective of Sagittarius And collective of Sagittarius for October. All right, Seven of Pentacles. So, um, the Seven of Pentacles energy is basically where someone is waiting for the re waiting for a return on their investment. You know, waiting to see if they're gonna, they're gonna get back um, some of what they put into a particular situation. Um, this card is ruled by the energy. I want to see Saturn and Taurus, and it's like if you do reap your rewards, it's like you have to be very patient because it can be very slow. All right, this card can be unfulfilled desire, so it's like somebody is stepping back to see if a particular situation is even worth um, waiting on, worth investing in. All right, um, two sevens here though. Um, actually, you have three to four seven, so six 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 seven seven seven. Those are definitely angel numbers for you to look into, as well as ten ten ten. Um, I see that somebody here they don't feel like a particular situation is worth waiting on or investing in anymore. Can you please clarify the Seven of Pentacles for the Collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Oh, Seven of Wands. So, once again, another fucking Seven. Seven of Wands is very much a defensive energy, feeling the need to stand your ground, okay? So, um, definitely if somebody here is not wanting to move forward, somebody is standing very much strong, strongly in that stance of it's like, fuck this, I'm not feeling it, I don't want to move forward, I'm good, I'm Gucci. Um, and then, like I said, if this is someone waiting for an opportunity with you, they are very much being um, stubborn and <laughs> defensive in, you know, trying to make things work. But somebody here is not, they're not with this particular situation anymore. Can we please clarify this reverse king of pentacles for the collective of Sagittarius? Can we please clarify this reverse king of pentacles for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? the reverse sun card okay so somebody here is just definitely not happy with the situation anymore all right this is another repeat so somebody is going after their happiness but in regards to the situation in regards and in clarification of this queen of pentacles in the reverse someone here is just they're not they're not satisfied they're not happy and the situation actually could have brought someone um into the energy of being very much um melancholic or depressed okay because the sun card is typically when it's in the upright it's the happiest card in the deck especially in regards to the majors all right and when it goes into the reverse it signifies a lack of happiness a lack of success and a lack of clarity in a particular situation and like i said previously with this reverse queen of pentacles is typically somebody who is very loving and warm and nurturing um consistent loyal but in the reverse it's like she doesn't even want to do that anymore the situation hasn't brought someone happiness at all all right, and right under this reverse queen of pentacles is this reverse page of pentacles, which is another repeat <laughs> with this card right here. And then right underneath the page of pentacles is this reverse seven of pentacles. So like I said, somebody here doesn't feel like a situation is worth working on. Someone feels like a particular situation isn't worth waiting and investing in anymore. Okay. Right under that is the five of swords. So like I said, somebody here was definitely... Um, cruel or brutal or selfish and self-serving in their actions and in their intentions and it definitely left somebody here um, guarded wounded depressed and overall just seeking happiness elsewhere okay so we got those out of the way I'm gonna get some oracle messages for you I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some closing messages and guidance and insight for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019 in regards to their life and the situation that they're dealing with. Can we please get some closing advice and messages for the Sagittarius collective? Okay, 
trying to get two more cards for the collectible Sagittarius. So I'll tell which one wants them. In regards to their life and the situation that they're dealing with. Two more cards for Sagittarius as insight, guidance, and advice for the situation as well as wherever they may be in their life. And I'm not counting those because I basically dropped those. So first card out is clear yourself. It says ask the angels to help you to release any energies that you may have absorbed. So definitely there was something that wasn't balanced or fair about the situation. Somebody here was definitely deceptive and manipulative. Um, if this was like a third party situation, um, there was some envy here, some jealousy. Somebody wanted what someone else had. And with the clear yourself, it's basically saying that you're needing to spiritually cleanse yourself of the negative energies that this situation caused you right because like i said with this nine of wands energy somebody here was left very wounded and guarded all right and this is a good energy to defend yourself but when you're trying to move forward and open yourself up to new possibilities this this energy can um it can impede you in being able to do that all right because this person is very cautious and guarded so make sure that you are clearing yourself of all of the negative energies that this situation has caused you to be in okay second card is listen to your intuitive feelings so like i said you got the high priestess here twice all right um somebody here is very much intuitive all right allow your intuition to lead you through this situation out of the situation uh, somebody here is intuitively aware and someone here needs to trust that absolutely it says your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine if something doesn't sit right with you listen to that if something brings you a lot of happiness and it brings you a lot of peace listen to that as well right if something in you is telling you to let a situation go listen to it all right the third card that came out this is the second time i've got this i think i got this with leo as well parents all right so it could have definitely been that maybe um maybe some like childhood issues came out in this particular situation maybe some childhood traumas were um brought to the surface in regards to this and it's basically saying that um that needs to be resolved it needs to be acknowledged needs to be healed and basically to know that even if you did deal with a, um, a troublesome childhood or some wounds from childhood that you know have basically been haunting you or have been brought to the surface by this situation acknowledge that you know maybe your parents tried to the best of their abilities but they were still human and the angels are open to helping you heal from any pain associated with you know mommy or daddy childhood issues or wounds okay bottom of the deck is air chakras it basically says notice messages that appear as sounds music and words from both external sources and within your mind these messages are real answers to your prayers so basically um synchronicities confirmations if you overhear something in a conversation and it resonates or it gives you like an epiphany or aha moment listen to that if you get a random thought and it's like a light bulb goes off listen to that as well if you somehow some way you hear a particular song and it resonates with something that you're feeling or a direction that you're wanting to go or it confirms a thought that you maybe have on a particular person or situation listen to that as well it goes right back to the listen to your intuitive feelings okay and can we get some more closing advice and messages for the collective of Sagittarius for October 2019? Can I get three cards for guidance and insight for Sagittarius for October 2019? All right, um, and just to recap, we already know somebody was deceptive. We already know that somebody here is um, remorseful and apologetic. We know that there is something unfinished or... Um, there's a lack of closure in a particular situation and that somebody here is going to be trying to resurrect the situation wanting a second chance all right and somebody here is going to have a major decision to make about whether they're going to continue with a particular situation or whether they're going to turn over the leaf and go towards something new all right can i please get some closing insight guidance and messages for the collective of sagittarius for october 2019 
in regards to their life and the situation that they're dealing with. Can I get two more cards for the collective of Sagittarius? Alright, can I get two more cards for the collective of Sagittarius? Can I get one more card for the collective of Sagittarius? cards we got the first one is rite of passage crossing the threshold and the initiation all right so basically um this situation was very much transformative for you it could have been like a rite of passage you know typically troublesome situations situation that disappoints you or cause you heartbreak you typically learn something from them and it forces you to grow on an emotional mental spiritual level okay so it's basically like you're you're graduating you're going to some kind of new level, new phase of your life, and the situation was most likely a catalyst for that, all right? So consider it a rite of passage. Consider it um, the darkness before the happiness, all right? The, the rain before the rainbow, that kind of energy. Um, the second card that came out is transformation. Things are changing at a, cel a cellular level and deep healing. So once again, um, it's like possibly somebody here is definitely healing past issues, childhood traumas, wounds, um, graduating to a new level all right new level of life a new level of existence a new level of being and definitely a spiritual elevation of some sort all right but you're healing and you definitely need to allow yourself to heal don't rush yourself be patient and um allow your intuition to guide you through this particular situation the last card is share your voice come out of the cave persecution and expression so basically um express yourself all right if you need if you feel the need to share your experiences or to share your journey absolutely do that if you are someone who is maybe not the most vocal, maybe it's time for you to, to be more vocal in, in regards to maybe your career, just in regards to how you deal with yourself in situations, all right? So whatever way that share your voice resonates with you, come out of isolation and be willing to be open, all right? Not allowing yourself to shut down because of what you've been through, okay? So definitely express yourself, allow yourself to heal and consider this painful situation to be um, a catalyst for something new to enter into your life okay so um Sagittarius I hope that you were able to hear me I know that I talk low sometimes I try to project more but um, I finally synced my earphones to this iPad so I shouldn't have any more of those issues please let me know what you think if you guys can hear me um, like share comment subscribe I appreciate every single thing that you guys do um, all of the comments that I do get even the ones telling me they can't hear me I appreciate it Thank you for letting me know because on my end, the sound is perfectly fine. So thank you for letting me know. Thank you for all the support and the love. And if I don't do mid-monthlies, I will see you next month. All right? Enjoy. Mwah.